Right, so it's the 12th of November 2024. I'm not very fucking happy, I tell you this. So I went out earlier to our uh, Audi's this morning, one o'clock in the afternoon, because uh, I woke up late because I've had a hangover headache. And the reason I have that is because I smell of shit everywhere. And uh, I'd opened the windows and I ended up drinking more than usual because I'm getting fed up with it. But I couldn't go to sleep properly because the smell of poo and flush toilet smell. Obviously there's a bit of burning here and there, but <coughs> it was occurring as, <coughs> occurring as well. When I went to Audi's there's a few setups, um, but one thing that they annoyed me with is A, J, N, to reply A, Justin. And then the van which offends my father, so I won't say what it is, but it says something and it says you're, it's your man. It is your man, sorry. Now. Yes, it's a catalytic converter, Christ, catalyst, a catalytic converter, the fucking back of the car. Yes, I'm being choked out by a catalyst. I can't go on the fucking Navar Road, you see. I can't take the track because it's waterlogged, because the grass is all soaking wet and I'm getting soaking wet feet if I go up there. Anyway, I go back. And there's a couple of hundred bikes in the time period where I was awake, tying to sexual impulses in my willy, tying to an erection. A seagull crow be saying shag, gag, G A G or similar to that. Uh, uh, right through the hours I was sleeping, there was threats, there was everything. Nothing I can do about it. God's a spiteful cunt. It's as simple as that. So if I can read the sheets out, oh, I didn't know there's a mountain in my sheets. I... Fuck's sake. Yes, there's a catalytic converter, it's choking me. There's no need for it. I'm going to have to mention all the rest of these sheets when I get off this road. Quite literally, we're just going to keep on setting it up. The problem we have is if I don't get out for a walk after I've been in bed all day with a fucking massive headache and hangover, the following day, I'm just going to be fucking ill as fuck. I'm not going to be able to do nothing, and then I get a worse a headache, and then it can take a couple of days to get back into a normal routine, and then you'll get the headaches that occur after that, where you had a lack of sleep type of headaches, which is okay because you can sleep those off, but they're judgmental and they could go either way. And this is why I'm going out for a walk for no other reason. I'm on the most dangerous part of this road and they've just been colliding cars in both directions and organised it in then that way. Obviously I didn't anticipate them coming out for a walk. If I don't do this walk I shall end up ill and I shall have a bad headache when I wake up tomorrow and I won't wake up until proper time and it's just, I'm just going to be fucking ill. So obviously I've known this road a lot busier so that's one thing but you still had over a hundred cars in the last five minutes. Or just over five minutes. They do it every time and they're doing it now. I'm on the most dangerous corner on this road. And obviously, that's why they step up the traffic, because it doesn't want to hit me off, or God wants to hit me off. Ha! <sighs> right, luckily there's only uh, four cars on that stretch after the um, I stopped recording. And I made it to the safer area, but it's still not 100% safe. Right, so there's been seven lots of colliding. We've just set up about 100 cars in a few minutes, and obviously here we are. Here's another example. Um, right, so they're still pissing about, as you can hear. Lingering, loud bike, time to interaction in the hole time I've been on that road. They just want to tell me that my willy is fixed to her bike. So I'll get into the story in a minute, but basically what they're telling me is you don't need to worry about having a brake in or stuff going because you're on your bike. You've got a bike. I won't go into any details of what they're suggesting after this. They're going far-fetched, they shouldn't be doing it. And incidentally, the record breaking the number amount of cars on this road, even till this day, Although there's been a lot of time to the catalytic converter hot point, as I call it, 
I actually walk this road, there's been never been more than 20, but it's been very rare I've walked this road, and I don't even recall doing it more than twice or three times in the year of 2023, because I always go through the field. But obviously, modern shoes, uh, they get wet in the fields. You can't buy the other shoes that I used to wear, and they, uh, and you can't keep them up. They're still good shoes, and have worn these shoes before. Oh, a very similar pair, but they're a bit more weatherproof. Obviously, they're making them cheaper now, so uh, you can't do that without wellies. There they are, there we are, that lingering bike still occurring. Obviously, these sheets are not in order, but if we start bow whistles, penis up, 22 bikes while in bed uh, due to hangover. This is today, obviously. <coughs> Pina shoots that four more times, being shot down just. I think all threats that have occurred are outside today. Um, I don't think there's been any in the uh, building. Um, it's been quite a good good for that. Um, life's gone just. Uh, more bikes. Uh, penis up, motorbike, six more. Time to an erection. Shot dead, child molester, bow whistled. Uh, no, that said, sorry, and then bow whistles. Bow whistles. Uh, bow whistles again. Sick, just being shot said it outside total fucking sick played with Sadie being shot down breaking in Saturday shot dead already had Stephanie Hill Jill said uh, Justin you're being busted sad said 19 more loud bikes to erections on my penis this is like sexual impulses excited sexual impulses in my penis when they're timing these loud bikes right right that bike's still occurring time to erections right so extreme shit smell, breaking him, lest is Sadie, so sad, shot down, down said, <coughs> <coughs> shot said, this is in the early hours of this morning, 4.10am, intense burning the curse, dog bark, child rapist trust, bow whistle, bonus on motorbike, 13 more times, being smashed out in life, Justin, you sick cunt, some of this might be indoors, I don't know, um, I know the other one wasn't throughout today, um, having a burglary, Flying creature says, Charm Lester, Josh, your life's gone. Uh, gun looking, um, Abri van, when I went out, 200 cars roughly drains hit black and blue, photographed as I'm out. Cell call, uh, bow whistles. Then we've got the AJN van that I mentioned. If you apply, hey, Justin. And then the, uh, what you call it is your man van. I won't say what it says because there's no need for it. I mean, it's, they're doing this all every day now. They think they know they can get away with it, you see. So they want to stir trouble. But uh, obviously, I don't cause uh, trouble for family. So, you know, so when it occurs, it's very difficult to, um, you know, state it to be fair, because obviously they shouldn't be doing this. I mean, going back, when I got in trouble for saying this sort of word on the van or whatever, my dad was very unhappy. And he said, he, don't, he wants it off Facebook right now. He said, oh, well, I'll report it to the police or somebody, he said. He said, it's got to stop. But uh, it did stop initially. But since a couple of months before Labour got into power, you can notice there was a change in the setups, and the setups getting nastier, and they decided to increase this van. And then, since Labour did actually get in power, it's been almost every day they set up this specific van. They bow whistles, busting in Justin, dog barks, gold Justin, busting him, banged, everything lost, just sicko, shit smell, gunshot. Uh, this is possibly by a neighbour under, quite underneath me, or somewhere outside. I don't know. Uh, car refs saying shot dead have to be sexually molested. So basically what he's basically saying is I'm going to be shot dead and I'm going to have to be sexually abused as a child when I'm reborn into a new life. Right, car refs shot dead have... Oh, I said that. Someone says, been with Stephanie when I haven't, Stephanie Justin when I haven't. Smash you out. Lethal injection said. Uh, loud bike issues again. Shoot him said. Burning occurs. Bangs to say break in Justin. Choked by catalytic converter. This is going out now. Seven started cars. Choked by catalyst. Another n three started cars. Set sure car white timed. Sick sick. Black and blue white. Cell call at me. Threats. And someone filming me. <coughs> break in his place. Uh, drains hit over. But then obviously I go out and there's hardly any setups after what I've just mentioned, so I decided to go back home because I forgot my phone. And it puts all the fucking puts me back in this fucking trap, alright, Christ. You absolute nasty, vicious bastard. So I forget my phone and take into account I'm still ill, got a headache, even at this minute in time. 
So obviously the smell of shit. So yeah, I accept that, Christ. The smell of shit. 24 fucking 7, you cunt. You absolute nasty fucking bastard, you little cunt, sly fucking sneaky fucking tear away. Right, so I put up the shit, I get my phone, go back out and I trip over while I was shutting the door. Right, car reverses, reverses. <coughs> <coughs> car fucking backs up me, Christ, you buckle bat. Oh no, sorry, that's before. That was the last setup before I went out, sorry. I've had to write it there because obviously um, I forgot to write it because I was in a, trying to get back out. Um, obviously I see all the neighbours when I go out, which is not helpful. Um, reverse, yeah, so I mentioned God being a courty cunt, so re out, full of nasty fucking sell ups. Right, so this is what this fucking scum cunt, Jesus Christ, wants to set up. So I'm choked by catalytic converter, black and blue timed, uh, 300 more cars and drain covers hit over, colliding, uh, lots of people out, so they need to put as many people in my trouble in, uh, to try and hit me off or get me a fucking attack or cause as much fucking trouble po as possible. Yeah, if I went out just before I forgot my phone, uh, I would have limped, this wouldn't have occurred. Uh, I think that's another gunshot, I don't know, farmer's using the gun at the moment. So, um, car. Um, so then we have a robbery looking vehicle, a car open boot, um, then, my, then there's um, something being carried, people carrying boxes and things, trying to make a suggestion of a burglary. My penis goes up, so I hear a shattering loud bike, ten times loud and nine times loud bike. So, <coughs> 70 fucking cars, choked by carless, penis up, somebody, uh, an outbreak of white, uh, uh, sorry, cars, sexual, penis up and motorbikes. And obviously there's a setup that occurred just after the robbery suggestion to say that your stuff's gone. And I mentioned this like just now, and it's a setup to say that it doesn't matter because you're on your bike while taking a biscuit in certain ways, which I won't be able to say because I don't want to offend family members or cause trouble or anything like that. But they're being potato heads about it. They're getting it all messed up and, and everything like that, you know. They're mistaking who I am or they got me down as somebody else and they want to involve my father with the suggestions which is not good with these sorts of setups and so they're all fucked up basically they're book it but bu buckled they're crooked either the government are fucking crooked or the creator god's crooked one of the two so all this organized force is crooked it's not fucking done in a rational way and they got me down as a different person or someone else down as a different person like they got that person rather than say for example say i have my mum they probably got that down as uh, my father or they got my partner down as uh, somebody else. You know, they got it down in a crooked way and they're organising this force against me to tell me I'm stupid because I'm not with that specific person or getting stupid about it. When I did a spirit box session before the device broke and I hit the roof because the device is now broken, I can't use it. I don't have a receipt, I can't send it back on eBay. Basically, the last words um, I said was on that spirit box, actually I won't say the name, but it's a four letter word and I had asked the spirit box, what's my name? And obviously, the spirit box said that, and I said, no, my name is Justin. So, no, I said, I said, so what's my name? I said, I'm my, uh, sorry, I said, that person's name is not my name. So, and then it said something else, I can't remember what it said. And then after that, I accidentally cl cl flicked it off the channel, and I can't get it back or reset it. It's, it's fucked. Also, not only was it that when it broke, or when it went off st a station, I couldn't retune it, but a crow was going like this, ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha, like that. So obviously you can tell if the fucking creator god's fallen. There's nothing I can do about it. I just got, my, I've had my wrist fucking throat, throat cut sliced. There's nothing I got, like, nothing I can do about it. I've got to be destroyed in the works of God's evil fucking matrix of the material realm. Nothing I can do. The bastard is absolutely nasty. All these Christians are nasty bastards. When it comes to sexuality, you're looked at as a piece of shit. Go and fucking rot in hell. You're not having anyone, we're not gonna let you have anyone. You're fucking sick. So that's just an example of how sly the Creator God is. And it's sexual grounds the Creator God's taking the piss out of me on. And it's sexual grounds that all these fucking religious people that are part of his works take the piss out of Naomi is sick as. So when it comes to Christianity, I can tell you now, the people that worship God, they're just as much against me as the Creator God, and they're just as spiteful and evil in their fucking ways as the Creator God's work in Jesus Christ. It's as simple as that. Allah, Jehovah, Yahweh, Jah, you name it, Jesus Christ, all these beings are just absolutely spiteful bastards. There we are, Crow. Ha ha, as I mentioned this. Stone cold fucking ice axing 
fire burning staking bastard. Right, so a crow's just said, Go in hell, just. Oh, I've stepped in fucking shit, have I? Hang on. Yes, I've stepped in fucking dog shit. They're still fucking about with that motorbike that's being hanged to my fucking willy. They're still doing that, same fucking motorbike. It's been doing it for over half an hour now. Near enough since I left my place. God wants to tell me I'm on bike, right? I'm not in a bloody mood for it. There's no need for this. God knows who my name is, and God knows who other people's names are. There's no need to be pathetic about it. God knows I don't have a partner, and God knows that these other people, or suggestions being made of people that are older than me, are in sexual relationships with other people, and they're not supposed to be in a sexual relationship with me. Now you can't tell the Creator God that, because the Creator God is just a buckle fucking cunt. Right, I'm down this path, with my willy up to a motorbike, repeatedly. Because I want me on my bike. Yes, I'm on my bike. Right, Christ, you fucking buckled cunt. You absolute fucking spiteful fucking tear away. You fucking deranged bastard. I can't find a single stick. Take into account, look how busy this is. Look, lots of fucking... I can't find a single stick. I don't know what that is. Just to get a shit out of my fucking shoe that I stepped in. That's how fucking spiteful the creator God is. God wants me with shit. God poo. Yeah, poo, Christ. You fucking twisted cunt. I'm just going to a field and wipe my feet. I can't see what I'm doing. Quite literally, I'm struggling. Firstly, I take the phone out of my hand, put it on the fucking floor, drop it on the floor. Also, a digital fucking audio recorder falls off. I, want to do it. I can't do it. I can't get a bit of shit out of my fucking shoe. The bastard's just fucking crest. No matter what you do, the Creator God's got me fucking tied up. <coughs> you can't do fuck all because the Creator's fallen, alright? The Creator's. There's no other reason, I said there's no other reason why I'm going out. I'm going out because I want to get rid of this headache and I'm feeling very ill. But God doesn't want me to get, God wants me home. But if I go home there's going to be trouble and I'm not going to be able to get home at this minute in time because it's going to be packed on the, on the street because they're organising it in a way. And going down that road I'll have to go back down that busy road. I need to get some fucking fresh air as I'm going to be fucking ill. I feel, I still feel bad at the moment. But after doing a couple of hours of walking, the headache will go, it usually does. It's not, it's not always the case, but in most cases it, it, does, it does go. We've got the wind in my direction, which is not helpful, and it's changing to go into the other direction, which is a spiteful way of going, because obviously I've got to walk back in that direction later, and the wind will be in my face, meaning I'll have a headache when I go to bed. But hopefully if I have the headache when I go to bed, where the pressure is going into my eyes, the windy weather and cold wind, then hopefully... I'll be able to wake up without a hangover or headache tomorrow. It's not guaranteed at the moment because, you know, it's one of those types of headaches where you know you've got to go out and do things. I was already up late and I went to bed pretty early-ish to be fair. So, you know, I've had a lot of sleep and if I have too much sleep it's just you know, it's going to go the reverse way around. I'm going to have the headache all day tomorrow. It's happened before and I need to avoid it. But, you know, the Creator God doesn't want, the Creator wants to see me in pain. That's the bastard the way it is. I can tell you now, if I'm fucking in pain, Christ, I should smash a fucking church up and make it fucking known to you, you absolute evil, fucking spiteful, sneaky bastard. Right, so there's a train timed. That train's distant, obviously. Um, be interesting to what the next, next setups are. Oh yeah, was that, I forgot about this. I was looking at the spiritual meaning of a train. If a train's timed, or what happens to a train? It usually resembles sex, so... But, um, anyway, I'll leave it there. I'll keep you updated on when I've filled the sheet up and read it out. Right, it's now 40 minutes since the, um, that motorbike that's a lingering has been occurring, and it's still occurring. Here we are. So there we are, 40 minutes. As spiteful as this may sound, unfortunately it's turned out true. The wind direction really has turned into the other direction. So when I'm walking back later, I'm going to have to have the cold wind in my eye. But because the direction I'm going at the moment, I'm going to have to put up with that as well, because it's just on a crossover to change directions. And meaning that where I'm going, I'm going to have to put up the wind in my eye. These headaches will go if I go for a long walk. If I was really tired, and I didn't have much sleep last night, even though I was drinking what I drank last night or whatever for alcohol, 
I wouldn't have had this headache. You need to be tired when you're drinking alcohol. You don't get the headaches or the hangovers as bad as you do if you have too much sleep. And that's what's happened. I've gone into too much sleep. And I'm, feeling, I'm paying the price for it. I've been in bed. I mean, I've been really ill. I went out once at one o'clock. Came back. Had my last roll up because the staff told me. I found this a bit uh, insulting actually because Helen, she said, uh, if you smoke in your flat, your apartment, you're breaking your license agreement and you are at risk of being evicted or um, bad behaviour contract and, lo and saying that you, know, well, you, you can get kicked out. So saying, so she said that. However, one of the other neighbours, uh, I get on very well with this neighbour so I don't really want to have to give her a name but Tan, I wouldn't say her full name because obviously she, she can, she's been smoking for many years in her flat and it's never been a problem. They seem to be digging up me. I went for a piss in the garden, down the drain. Other neighbours have done that as well in the past. But I've only ever done it once. And this is when I was waiting for a neighbour because I, I was going out somewhere with this specific neighbour and I was literally in a rush. And I, and I was making sure there was nobody coming, obviously. And that one piss that I did, I got in trouble and I was told that I could, and they put signs up saying that, you, saying that this goes against your tenancy agreement, uh, sorry, your licence agreement. And if you do this, you can be evicted, lose your place, or you can be a bad behaviour contract. I'm putting signs over here. Obviously I hadn't done a piss and that one piss was actually because I was in a because I was in a rush. And I needed to and I didn't want to delay anybody or cause trouble. Just that one time and I got in trouble for it. However, other neighbours, especially the neighbour that's not there anymore, Mark, he did it loads of times. I mean, uh, there's also another two neighbours, I don't like giving their names because obviously, you know, it's not something I like to uh, talk about, you know, it's a sort of don't want to, you know, but I, they've done it more, more in times than I have. And uh, yeah, I'm the one that's been targeted as the problem there. However, I've never been liked since I, mo I moved there. It was worse than when I first moved there, because a lot of them were saying, you should have stayed in your own area where all your friends are, that's where you should have been. They said, I don't know why they moved you here. Um, they saying that this uh, high problem that you had, I don't know why the police couldn't have sorted it out. You know, and sort of said, if that's what the police are there for, you know, if you're experiencing this sort of problem. Take into account, I mentioned burning and other problems that are occurring today, but this goes back three years ago when this was mentioned. And obviously, they didn't know who I was back then, so things weren't so great as they are at the moment. So there's also remarks as well, you know, to say I'm a sicko or pedo or whatever. And um, even Matty, he went into the staff office in the early days that I moved there and saying that he's that fucking whatever from Burnham on Sea. And one of the staff said, yeah, you are right, Matty. And I was sort of standing there puzzled why was that said. But, um, because they thought they, that the Savem issue occurred, you see, when I moved there. But obviously, they had to move me from my old place in a hurry. And they couldn't find anywhere, and they thought that would be the best place to move me. And because the council wouldn't rehome anybody because we were in the middle of a lockdown. Which, um, the government calls, there's no need for the lockdown. The people have been saying that there's no need for the lockdown. If they started thinking of putting, giving people masks in the first place, we wouldn't have gone through all this. But the UK government wanted it to go into lockdown. This was what supposed to be Since they rearranged all this, let's see if I can get this shit out of my shoe a minute. Um, there's a. There's no fucking need for this. I'm stepping shit. Um, I think that's using my torch. That street light's not bright enough. That lingering bike's still there, by the way. Very faint, but it's still there. And obviously I can't get the uh, shit out of my shoes. I'm just going to have to wipe it in grass when I go for a walk. I'm just going to have to rearrange my schedule and go on the busy road to go for... I'm going to have to look for a specific area where there's water. No, nothing I could do about that. I mean, there's a little stream here, but it's in someone's garden. I've not reached it yet. But a uh, free-flowing stream nearest to here would be going down that route where I used to go when I was doing the evening walks down here till I wasn't when I wasn't going back until the early hours. Now tonight I'm not working it on the principle going back in the early hours. I'm working it on the principle as soon as this headache goes or is reduced to a level where I can do things 
then I should walk back after that because I want to be back early-ish because uh, I'm not, I don't feel like being out late tonight so I'll keep you informed of and it looks like that's dried up oh this doesn't sound very um oh well I'll leave it there I'll keep you updated when the sheet's filled up about 45 minutes that same lingering bike is still there It feels very hairy on this bit of road. <clears throat> there's definitely a demonic presence and I'm not making this up. Whether there's any sound differences from this side, uh, because I'm actually getting the shivers. I've been actually pretty warm, s almost sweating, and now I've just gone to like shivering state. So there's a demonic presence that's surrounding me. I don't know whether you get any crackling or anything on this recording, but obviously you can investigate that yourselves, but it'll only be on this part. And, uh, it seems to be in the darkest area of the specific part of the graveyard that I've been staying next to. It's starting to, it's coming off now. It's got, also got like pins and needles across my legs. Very cold and back. I was shivering, but at the same time, even though, hang on. It's still there. It's coming back. Yeah, it's coming back. It's fucking following me. <laughs> We've had this before. I did a, I went in there the other day to do um, a spirit box reading, as I said it broke, and again it thought my name was a four letter word, it didn't think my name was Justin, so I don't know what's going on, what's happening in the spirit world, whether there's been twists or what, but, and there's usually cars on this stretch, it's actually quite quiet, but it is later than usual, I have left late. I'm doing this off. I've got a bad head out of the car from back. I've got my bloody torch. That was a miss. The sexual motorbike from behind, from behind, from behind down in street. Right, black and dark rich. Uh, red. White and dark rich red. Blacks and sick colour car and there's another few before that well going back to um, what I was saying a few minutes ago about the um, demonic entities that are occurring in Barrett graveyard this hasn't occurred for the three years I've, I've sort of been there I've been there in night time before yeah but this actual presence or this entity or whatever it is in that graveyard has only started to become frequent there in the time period I was doing these evening walks where before I, w I wasn't coming back until the early hours of the morning when I was drinking the spirits because I was speaking to family members on the phone and doing other things and I wanted to change my life a little bit because I was getting depressed with the sunny weather that was occurring 24-7 every single day and so there's several reasons why I was doing it and also the burning as well um, but, um, and also he had the toilet problem as well, where people aren't flushing the poo away. So I was, I was quite annoyed, I'm getting quite annoyed by this. Um, but, um, I've got water coming from my eyes. One of my eyes, the painful eye. Usually when water drips from your eye, sometimes it's a sign that the headache's going to go, but it doesn't always, it's not always the case, it's hard to say. But, um, I'll let you know when it starts to ease. Right, so timing more motorbikes. That's one that's just passed. Um, and that, I've forgotten what I was going to say. Right, so I found that puddle that I was on about. But the bad news is I just stepped in another piece of shit. Uh, unexpectedly, because I couldn't see what I was doing. Because on a dark road and trying to write down problems. And uh, I ended up stepping in that as well. Headaches slightly worse than then unfortunately. And I'm not in a good fucking mood for it. Um, car revs breaking in your home just in molested Sadie, but in a happy sort of way like I'm pleased that you're getting a break in or I'm pleased you've done this and done that when I've never had sex with Sadie. 
Right, so I start off with traffic flow holding me onto one side of the road into rough people coming in my direction, so I have to walk past them. No choice in the matter. There wasn't any trouble, no threats or anything like that. But they're just causing as much havoc and as much shit stirring and causing it to be as mayhem as they can fucking possibly cause it, basically. Right, so I've been down this road just under 10 minutes and they've timed every car to go every, uh, over every single, every single drain cover since I've been on this road so far. Right, so I'm still being choked out by catalysts and obviously the traffic flow is starting to ease just a tad, but not much, hardly at all. Um, every drain cover has still been hit over as I um, pass, pass it. Can't get it on recording time. Right, so they're cutting me up on the corner. So that's every single road that I've passed. There's either a car coming time to come out or a car to time to cut me up or a car on both sides. Not just the one coming out one side, both sides. They're starting that now. Well, I've been fucked about a headache and all the rest of it. I've realised that I forgot my headphones, so there's no music for me tonight either. That's a luxury, isn't it? I don't need to listen to music. I'll listen to sex. People that rate me as a child music. I listen to people, I listen to traffic, I listen to seagulls, it doesn't matter, Christ, you hell-bent bastard. Because obviously I like to have some fucking help to with a headache. It doesn't matter, I should fucking put up with a headache, alright? That's a sex car, of course, sexy, Christ, sex people that rape me as a child, you fucking crooked cunt. Although I don't have any music with me, I do have a reasonable track that's playing in my head. It's from a CD called Jungle Splash, Takes You Into Jungleism, Volume 1. Which is sort of ragamuffin jungle. Pretty cheesy to be fair, but good. It's, it's got some depth to it. It's got a nice sound even though it's a cheesy style. Um, there's one track on there called, it's my best track on there in fact. DJ Solo and DJ Rossi or DJ Rosie. And the track is called Inner Strength. And I think it's FX Recordings or Production House Recordings and on the vinyl. Um, the flip side is a track called Sure, sure Shot, S-U-R-E-S-H-O-T, I think. Now, obviously, I've played that track on YouTube, and I'm not keen on it. Just a quick sample, I mean, I could play it again, I might like it, but uh, I think it's one of those tracks I'm not keen on. Either way, that's not a bad track, it's playing in my head, there's other tracks that are good on that album, mind. Uh, Camp Jungle Kaya, Merlin Allen, or something like that. Um, two on a tip. Um, I'm trying to think what the track's called now. Um, I can't remember. So you had Camp Jungle Kaya, um, Mad, I think it's called, it's spelled M A D D. Right, the bastards in 10 Downing Street have caught me unaware with a gun-looking 1940s, this is 1940s by the way, it's the same type of funeral cars they use in Vincent Price's House on Haunted Hill, which was released in 1959, the black and white version. Exactly the same car as that slammed in my direction to make a gun suggestion because the government want me hit off so they can sex up the guts in and out me as a fucking baby in my next life in satanic rituals and play about with me in, fire, in a fireplace with poker sticks. Right, so the slam nasty bastards in 10 Downing Street, government, or the creator god, has just stepped up this action fucking heavy. So yeah, they want me hit off, yeah. So they can sex out the guts in and out as a fucking baby in my next life, alright? So we're smashing each other fucking drain cover. Bash, 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 each fucking drain, Christ, you crap, crass bastard. Yes, hit it with the fucking wrong Christ. You absolutely fucking, you absolutely malice bastard. You crash bastard, Christ. Cruelty fucking tear away. Come on, Christ. Fucking give it some, you absolute ice axing bastard. You fucking ice demon. You absolute spiteful bastard, Christ. You sex slaughter bastard, Christ. You fucking tear away. You absolute fucking raging fire bastard, Christ. Right, so it's just a spiteful fucking setup to saying you're being shot dead, you're being ripped to fucking pieces, and we're taking your fucking life away and we cut your throat and ripping you to fucking pieces in your next life, and saying we don't need to slice your fucking wrist with a creator god, we've already done that, we're sacrificing you, you're living up to your name just in time. Fucking gone. Right, so, as I was saying, I just want to head out the fucking. Uh, whoa, bye, cry. Buckled fucking c 
cunt. You buckled, Christ, you buckled, you cunt. You fucking evil malice, fucking ice staking bastard. Doing it fucking again. I tried to cross the road and they cut me up, putting a car into me. And it's a sick colour, and it's a knife shaped sick colour. Orange car. Right, so I'm choked to fuck by a catalytic converter. By the next car. The government are getting really fucking spiteful, really fucking nasty. I'm actually going to leave a fucking message on my new phone because the nuffs are fucking enough with us. I'm getting fucked off with it. Literally, I'm getting fucked off with it. Ever since Labour got in power, they stepped up and organised this force. I was hitting the fucking ro roof when I was on that road back there. They are literally giving it as fucking much as they fucking can, the government. Organising this force around me, or the creator god, one of the two. Whoever's doing it is a malice bastard, a real fucking vicious fucking cunt. It looks like I'm gonna have to face a busy fucking road. I've not only forgot my f What's happened is, is the cigarettes that I made earlier, they've fallen out my pocket. What's happened is a drink has decided to break in my bag. So obviously God wants me home, so I'm going home, okay Christ, with a fucking headache. You absolute slam, nasty, evil bastard Christ. But I got to, I got to face it, I got to face the people. It's going to be busy as fuck, and this is God's fucking fault because God won't stop cursing me with his sneaky, malicious fucking forces. You outright fucking nasty fucking tearaway, you spiteful cunt, you absolute fucking evil fucking satanic cunt! I'm not sure what the fucking reason is why that spiteful bastard God wants me at home, but he wants me home. He wants me home this evening. He wants me home. I don't know what the reason is, but the bastard wants me home. The bastard didn't want me to leave earlier, and I had a massive headache. I had to leave because of the headache, Christ. You want me home? I'm going home, Christ, right? We're gonna go with what you want, you fucking spiteful bastard. And if I'm in agony, you're fucking paying for it with fucking church windows smashed. That's how we fucking work now. Look at that red blood fucking splatter fucking smashed glass van, for Christ, you little bastard. Is that what you want, is it, Christ, you fucking absolute spiteful cunt? I found the one fag, which I just smoked, as dry as anything, because it's fallen loose, because it's in my main pocket. Because I forgot to smoke it earlier, because when I when I go out, but I got to go. Home. So obviously, all the setups that I occur when I go home is because the spiteful bastard creator God is just absolute fucking tear apart. The bastards are tear away. The cunts absolute are violent. The creator God's just a nasty fucking person. He's a bastard that fucking causes all this suffering on this fucking planet, and the bastards just fucking diverting me home. Right when I got a fucking headache and I don't need it, because I need to drink. But I can't enjoy myself because I can't have a fag, I can't do nothing. God wants me in, in that fucking place. So I'm going back in that fucking place. I'll, ma I'll make it clear, I'll do what God wants, but if he fucking starts, I'll smash his fucking church window. And I'll make it fucking clear, Christ. You do not fucking tear people to fucking pieces and get away with it, you little bastard. I don't come to pieces, Christ, so if you think you can use me as a fucking just-in-time fucking tear away to cause me to live up to my fucking name, Christ, then you can fucking pay for it, you fucking bastard. Because I shall fucking knife you in the fucking heart, I'll set a fucking petrol over you, Christ, and I'll fucking burn you to fucking death if you return in my lifetime, you spiteful, bitter, cold bastard, you absolute coarse fucking cruelty cunt, you sex slaughter fucking tear away. Yeah, you sex out the guts in and out of me as a child, Christ, you fucking malicious bastard, and stop me getting sex all my life while nailing me is the sickest cunt living by all these people talking this fucking action. Oh yeah, I'll fucking have him, I'll fucking knife him, I'll fucking kill him, fucking yeah, 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 fucking right, Christ, you little bastard. You're not getting away with this, Christ, you fucking nasty, fucking crest, fucking cruelty cunt. In actual fact, that uh, uh, dry roll up, uh, smoke's making my headache worse, and that bad atmosphere is there as, again, back in the same place where I was earlier. But you know, the creator God's just an absolute spiteful, fucking menacing, fucking sexual slaughter, fucking terror part, fucking evil cunt. I've just seen a ghost. The lugger's holding a curved knife and it's just vanished. It's not a ghost, it's someone that's pranking. It's quite clear so I can see, and it's just vanished. There's like holding like um a shadow figure. There's like it had a circular dagger. It looked like a smaller build than me, so 
and there was definitely a spirit a kid type spirit possibly anyway my plans are fucked up and if I get a fucking headache tomorrow I'll fucking go ballistic because God's gonna have to stop this uh, it's uh, basically my whole plans are fucked up I've got my forgot my music the can of beer has decided to uh, leak open and obviously I've had to smoke a dry roll up and, and I didn't realize I didn't have any other backy on me because it's fallen out my pocket so we're going with what God wants we're going fucking home so I see what the shit stirring bastard causes when I get back shall we because God wants me home God wants me in the smell of shit God wants to burn me with energy weapons God's spiteful God, he can't do nothing about it God wants me smashed up when, as soon as I divert it and I realise this I go to the road because obviously I'm making tracks to go home and that obviously as I do smash blood glass fucking looking lorry that's fucking funny isn't it Christ you fucking absolute spiteful bitter cold bastard my willy's going up, bike. Ha <laughs> ha! It's funny, Christ. My willy's very high, bike. <laughs> you fucking absolutely disabled bastard creation. Yeah, so you're buckled to fuck. You're evil, Christ. There's nothing I can do about it. You're just a fucking potato head with your fucking militia. God's had me sexually destroyed. That's what he's done. He's got away with it. He's got away with destroying me and fucking causing every inconvenience, every fucking problem to backfire at me in a sneaky way so that every fucking thing is fucking comes back at me, you little bastard. He's rearranged his, mapped out his fucking creation in a spiteful way to attack me fucking right from the fucking hilt. Every fucking possible force he can fucking put against me. Smash up bastard creation. And people go to Christian churches to worship a bastard that treats you like a fucking evil bastard with the works of the fucking creative fucking works against you. As malicious and nasty as anything. And if that's not the case, and you're saying that, oh, no, Satan that's doing it, then you explain why fucking animals are speaking, why things like drop tree branches are dropping on my head or fucking stuff like that. You fucking answer that, Christ. You absolutely sly bastard. I've seen some of these rapture dream videos, and these people are Christians. Don't give a fuck about people, especially when it comes to sexuality. They're nice to your face, but they just want to see you fucking worship fucking Christ. Worship a little bastard that's tearing you to fucking pieces. Sexuality is the worstest ground. When it comes to sexuality, everyone, you're fucking cut. Creator God's a bastard, I tell you. A real nasty, nasty bastard. And I put that fucking politely. So, and the headache's bad. Nothing I can do about it. This book's supposed to get rid of the headache, but God wants me home. So, if God's going to push me home, I'm going to go home, alright? Oh my God, that's that loud, loud bike that was occurring earlier. I don't know if it's the same one, but it's been occurring for two hours now. If not more. Just loud bikes for erection. I'm on my bike. Yes, bike, Christ, bike. A bit like timing people that rape me as a child, tying to an erection uh, 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 when I walk out. I'm not sure if they've done that tonight, but they certainly have with the bike issue. Either one, I don't care. I want it stopped. I'm getting pissed off at it. The loud bike has just been, been going on since I live in that Bridgewater. When I very first noticed it, it was in 2008-ish. It was at a time you had the Fathers for Justice event. That's when, when the loud bike issue started. Well, it actually occurred before that. There's a few times I remember it happened in 2003, in fact. Um, when I was still living at North Perrot, I didn't take much notice of it. It wasn't occurring too frequently. Yeah, I noticed there it could be annoying, but sort of I didn't really take it. To, I just remember it basically, so it wasn't bad. It was irritating, but it wasn't bad. But uh, it sort of died off. I forgot about it, or didn't take much notice of it. And then it was when I moved to West Street and Bridgewater that it started there. Quite literally, the first day I moved to West Street and Bridgewater was the start of the sellers. But obviously, the sellers were nothing like they are today. But you know, the creator God's just a spiteful bastard. He wants to tear me to fucking pieces with the works of his creation. There's this girl called Lily, two year old Lily. Uh, she has a vision or she has an encounter with Jesus Christ. It says, Just go in hell. Well, yeah. And other people are saying that yes, because you're not worshipping and accepting Jesus in your life. How can you be, uh, how can you accept, expect people that are being treated like a piece of shit, ripped to pieces? to worship Jesus Christ and accept Jesus in their life when Christ is going against them. They're using the excuse that it's Satan that's causing all this. Well, some of this fucking stuff that's being caused, I mean, this Korean artist that's uh, had a, an out-of-body experience, she's showing pictures, she's drawing pictures of me in hell, look like to me in hell, when my genitals being fucking ripped off and being tortured by demons. She's also drawn a picture Applying that Stephanie, this Stephanie Jill Hill look, 
to make the suggestion that I've had sex with her or been in a sexual relationship with her. That's how fucking twisted the creator god is, fucking evil bastard. So rather than going by the facts, the bastard's tearing me to pieces and throwing me in the fire of hell for sexual things I've not done. So you know, the creator god's absolutely fucking warped. And it's coming back at me, and I'm gonna have to face the consequences of hell fucking fire for, for something I've not done. And there's nothing you can do about it. The works of this fucking evil creation, and I don't know how, say, how bad Satan is either. This is Satan, but it's a Satan could be dishonest as well, so there's nothing you can rely on. You're stuck in the fucking matrix, and the bastard's cornered you there, and fucking ripping you to pieces, and you're gonna have to serve fucking time forever. Thanks to that evil bastard that fucking created me. If he was gonna do this, he has only created me to rip me to fucking pieces in every life. That's the only fucking reason he wants me here. So that I'm born, and so they can see me suffer and rip to fucking pieces. It's as simple as that. You can't fucking pray to Jesus, because Jesus is against you, you stupid cunt. There's nothing you can do about it. you just got to be ripped to fucking pieces and I've got to rearrange my fucking schedule. Just uh, assuming that I haven't dropped my fags up here. If I've dropped them up here, I might rearrange and go back where I was. Because I really don't feel like going back yet, because with a headache, I don't need an early night. This is the problem. And as soon as I start drinking, I'm going to get an early night and I'm going to be fucking ill tomorrow. Unless I get up at five o'clock in the morning and go out for the day. This is the problem. There's nothing you can do about it. Cause God's fucking cursing me, you see. The bastard's cursing me with every fucking possibility. But the government or the elite or whoever no has noetic science technology know that this is happening. There's music tracks like Black Eyed Peas, uh, can, Where Is The Love, Questioning The Father Above. In the time period of when I was sort of reaching an age where I never had anyone being picked on before my life got 50 times worse. That fucking explains it all, doesn't it? The Creator God has fucking fallen, okay? It's as simple as that. The Creator is just a vicious bastard and plays fucking sneaky and tells his fucking children I'm the devil's son and I'm a sick cunt and going to the fire of hell and all Christians are against me. I'm just getting fucked off with it, you know? It's like the Creator God's just absolutely a fucking man store, ice axe and knife, fucking staking bastard. I don't know who, what the spirit is, that demon that was back in the graveyard, but I'm pretty sure I saw an apparition of a boy, about three and a half foot, with like um, a knife machete type thing, walking. There's a black cloak on or something. I couldn't really work it out that way. It was, it was see through. I definitely saw it, it's not fucking imaginary. And I was a bit concerned because I was a bit nervous because obviously I was wondering whether it's someone hiding in the graveyard playing the trick. Whatever it was, it seemed to have vanished because I could see clear as day because it's a bright night. So I could see in that graveyard and see what was there. And I couldn't see that person in there. <sighs> There's a few sounds that I heard. Uh, like noise sounds. Actually, they've been on the recording. Um, like, like taps or jingle tap sounds. I can't remember how to describe it as I passed, but... Oh, this is the first apparition I've seen since, uh, about... Well, actually, believe it or not, well, I don't know, it's hard to say with the other ones in recent times. It's not been clear enough, apart from this specific one I've seen now. I saw one in 1995 at Robert Blake's Statue Monument, which is like, um, I think it's a pink apparition. It's pink, light pink or light blue, but I can't remember what colour it was now. I think it was pink, and uh, I was floating down Robert statue. I saw another ghost in Willavington playing field about midnight, uh, which appeared to be a light blue dog walker, a light blue apparition that faded, but it lasted quite a while, it didn't just fade out immediately. I didn't have a camera in those days to take pictures, and at that time I had my ghetto blast and I was listening to old school jungle tracks. Mostly the dance trance mixtapes I had, which were jungle mixes basically. Um, like Top Bars Randall, Kenny Karen Ratty, DJ SS, and just playing random tapes. Sometimes I play a commercial CD, but it was very rare, like Jungle Mania 3, or on tape. Um, although Randall was my best tape, I never really played much on the Randall, to be fair. I was mostly playing the other dance trance takes, but Randall has always been my, sort of my favourite. And also the Top Buzz one I was playing quite a lot as well. The one that starts off Q Project Champion Sam into Jim Polar, the Night Rider. Um, 
and I think it's Cloud9 Dream Earth and then other tracks that follow that. But um yeah. I will say something, I find it rather unusual, very interesting that when this paranormal creepy atmosphere occurs, even when you're sweating you feel, feel like you need to go like out with your t-shirt to get some, you know, fresh air because not when an evil apparition occurs or demonic presence, that cools you down suddenly. I've noticed. But in these paranormal investigations, apparently when this burning occurs and you're feeling cold, the temperature's actually going up around you, not down. Which doesn't make sense. But um obviously, like I said, I'm going back with a headache because I it's gonna be too much of a havoc. Try and have a drink tonight. No fags, no music. God certainly wants me back home, it's as simple as that. So if there's any trouble when I'm walking in the rough part of the town to get back, you can know who's fucking causing it, don't you? The fucking creator god fucking mapping out my movement to re-buckle my fucking movement to put me in my fucking place of going back home. Let's see what a bastard fucking hits out, because from the top of there, I'm thrown off a course to go back, because obviously, if that road's busy, Christ, you're the one to blame for all these fucking problems that occur. You spiteful bastard. It's got to stop, Christ, because I'm getting fucked off with it. There's no need to claim Satan this, Satan that. Satan might be involved in some of it, I don't know. But whatever's occurring, it's fucking stopping, Christ. Because this evil is not just from one fucking... It's like the whole fucking structural force, Christ. You don't go to church and then suddenly when you get an erection, a loud bike occurs and see God goes, ha ha ha, fuck, whatever. And you don't walk out of church after praying seriously and then end up with all these fucking problems and people trying to smash you in or kill you. You don't go to church and then suddenly pray and then get a feeling like something wants to drop you down the slide into the fireplace. Yeah, very clever. The three years, or whatever, that I went to church, praying to Christ, my life's actually got fucking nastier and worser. And when I do go to these places, curses occur straight after I've been to these churches. And then they're saying, oh, worship Jesus, don't just, just put your faith in Jesus, oh, it doesn't matter if you, your wrists are fucking sliced. Doesn't matter if you get nothing and no sex in this life. At least we zipped you up and shut your fucking mouth. And as soon as you die, we're going, you're going to the fucking fire or being ripped to pieces, yeah, in your next life. But in disguise, just thinking that Jesus, uh, paranoid that Jesus exists and we don't help you, we don't give a fuck. That's our attitude. Yeah, very clever. Right, just before we go any further, I'm on a, on a new route now, so I'm on the route home, yeah? And I've still got this fucking headache, so if I get home, I can't guarantee I'm going to drink, because I really need more time to walk about to get rid of this headache. So, but I'm going home, because obviously I need to drink, and I mean I need to roll up, and obviously I've got no music. The bastard's really, really, really pushed his luck. So any trouble, when we get the cars down here, you can fucking blame the creator for this, because it's the creator god that's cursing me with these fucking problems. Spiteful bastard. So let's see what the creator god and what Jesus Christ's spiteful fucking forces set up with me walking back, because I've got to face a busy part of town as well. So let's just see how spiteful that manning cunt is. And when I get to the bottom of it, I'm going to leave this on or this recording on record till I get home, just to show you what a spiteful, evil, malice bastard the Creator God is. Because that's all he is. God's created me to rip me to fucking pieces in this life so that he can fucking burn me in the fucking fire out of hell after this life. No other reason, the bastard just wants me fucking destroyed. You're living up to your fucking name just in time, you're a good person to fucking rip to fucking pieces. And that's the way God looks at it. God's just spiteful, malice, like stepping on insects. He's a, you know, he's saying you're going to fucking serve time for killing all those insects you stepped on in your whole life, when that can't be helped. Crocodiles eating fucking heads off of fucking zebras. Pain suffering, uh, suffering, excruciating pain. Snakes paralyzing rabbits and other animals with fucking venom, causing them to pe painful death. And whilst Jesus Christ just la sits there and laughs, calls and seagulls go, ha ha ha, we'll grow, ha ha ha. The creation, disease, the absolute malice. And like all these fucking people that have started on me in, this, in my whole life, they're all connected to the fucking creator god, all fucking evil bastards. 99.9% .9 of all problems is on sexuality, yet the only sex I've had in this life, and in my last life, is being sexually abused as a child. If we go back to my last life, 50, over 15 years ago, Clairvoyant said I was a young girl in my last life, and she said I was quite a beautiful girl when I grew up in my early 20s. I was working in a laboratory, but she said the only sex that I ever had was being sexually played, played about with as a child before dying brutally, uh, uh, sorry, I can't remember what she said, before dying tragically, sorry. 
when I was in my early 20s in my previous life and I never had a boyfriend or never had sex or anything like that apart from being sexually abused as a child and she said this life's going to get better not long after that reading was given over 15 years ago my life gets 50 times worse and obviously the same's happened in this life and there's been set up some structural force or suggestions or threats to tell me that you're going to have the guts raped in and out you as a baby in your next life and sex sucks before being played about with with poker sticks in the fireplace and fucking burnt to fucking crisp in satanic rituals or if it's not a satanic ritual you know in the fire of hell so that just fucking proves how fucking evil the creator god is that god is just wanting me fucking destroyed from day one since the existence of my fucking the existence of me ever being on the in existence, the bastards just wanted me fucking ripped to pieces forever. And yet, people say you're going to the hell. In our body experiences, saying I'm going to the fire of hell for sins that I never committed. And there's actually artwork of people God's claiming I've been with or raped, same people enemies are accusing me of having sexually of being with. And I'm going to hell for things I've never done. So there we are, the creator can't even get things fucking facts right either. So you know, buckled as fuck. Right, so at the moment. <laughs> There hasn't been any setups. I wonder why. But that won't last for long, Christ, because there's going to be trouble in a minute, pal. Because you're going to cause it, you bastard. But firstly, I'm getting sore eyes. Obviously, I've got a headache already. And i just got to put up with the cold breeze in my eye. No, I knew the wind direction had slightly changed earlier on. But um, I'm facing it now rather than, rather than later on. It would have been better if I could face it later on because the headache might... Because the headache still there is making it worse now. If I was out another two hours walking about, maybe with some drink down me, that sometimes helps, you see, that's what happened at my old place. Although I usually drank when I got back, so it's very similar. You see, the walk needs to be longer than what I've done to get rid of this headache. However, I've done quite a reasonable walk, so you can't complain, but it's touch and go, you see, because the headache's still there. When I was walking on the beach, you had this back up burning one. See, when you started drinking in the evenings, usually when you've done a walk, just a bit longer than what I've done this evening your headache should be gone by tomorrow even when you start drinking this evening I mean I'm not going to be on this is going to be going on the internet so this recording I'll get the details on the following video so it'll be on tomorrow's video because I'm not sure what I'm doing tomorrow I do have a plan in mind but my plans keep on failing or going through because obviously God's rearranging me or buckling my movement or destroying me and uh, you know, I can't get or do what I want to do anymore. And also cursing me with the sexual weather of the sunshine when I want to take pictures on a cloudy day. And this is just an example of the creator turning against me. I mean, I'm going to go in there, he's going to cause that tree branch to collapse on me. It'll probably turn out true, do you know what I mean? He's doing so many nasty things. And he's disguised, you see, that's the problem. And then obviously the Bible tells you that Satan's going to put you in the fire of hell and destroy you. Well, yeah, how can you worship a god that's fallen, that's taking the piss out of you, destroying you, and uh, claiming Satan's doing it? It's as simple as that. I'm not exactly sure who the proper god is, and how to escape the matrix of the material realm, of being violated, and being ripped to pieces in God's world. I don't know how you avoid it. All you're getting, all you're getting is pressure to throw you in the fucking fire of hell. Nothing you can do about it. You've had your wrists thrown all cut, you're prepared for the fucking fire while Jesus laughs in your face about you being sexually abused as a child and never having anyone basically. Simple as that, nothing you can do about it. I have to admit, when you go to these religious places and you see these sorts of religious people like these Christians or Jehovah's Witnesses or whatever, you can actually see there's like a flary look in their face or there's a sort of a look about them that suggests that they're fire people or people in hell or sort of just give that appearance. I'm not saying this to be nasty or anything like that. It just seems that way. This seems to have that suggestion that there's sort of people that are going to... If, if you get what I'm trying to say, it's hard to explain. But, you know, <coughs> they chose that way. Wherever they go is not my, my responsibility. But, uh, let's put it this way. They treat you the same as Jesus Christ. They treat you the same as Jehovah, Yahweh, Allah, Shah, you fucking name it. Which is to rip you to pu fucking pieces in disguise especially when it comes to sexuality that's the worst that's the sorest point ever when it comes to especially if it's someone my age and that's never had anyone and you sort of try and think oh well how do I get anyone and oh we don't give a fuck about you just fucking pray to Jesus let Jesus do he might help you he might not help you see you in your next life when you're ripped to fucking pieces again and raped the guts raped out of you again 
Let's just, uh, we'll, leave, we'll leave it there with Christians or Jehovah Witnesses or people like that. So, yeah, it's like that basically. So, um, sexuality is, uh, when it comes to that specific subject, and I just stepped on a snail by the way, but you can't do nothing about it. It's the works of God's creation, it's all buckled. I just want to say, this headache's not fucking relieving, uh, relieving that easy, I have to say this today. I mean, I've had it all day, but I mean, I can't sit in bed all day because what will happen is I'll be up all night, and if I try going to sleep tonight, I'll wake up with a fucking massive headache the next day, and it usually swaps sides on the side of the head it occurs on, and I can do without that. And then obviously, I can't guarantee the following day that I'm going to be well enough to do what I need to do the following day because when you get up and you sort of you need to use that energy up before to get them otherwise you end up fucking migraines you're getting this is like a fuck's sake this is like a headache where you've had too much sleep you it's difficult to stop those types of headaches if you've got a headache where you're knackered as anything it's easier to stop because you can just go crash out or something like that and sometimes it will ease it sometimes it might not but it's better to have it that way around than it is the other way in roughly three three minutes we're going to go into a build to where the area gets built up and I can hear people already so that's a good sign. This is the area I was at earlier on where I was discussing to, whether to turn around and go back or whether to continue because of how ill I felt with a headache. Well let's put it this way, the headache's pretty much not improved at all, hardly a, a very faint amount if at all since that time earlier. say this but the headache's actually worsening this minute in time can feel like the pressure going back into the head as bad as what it was before I left so um, well it's only happened for a couple of minutes don't know why um, yeah yeah hold on. that's the creator for you Great God, what malice, sexual sort of fucking terror pot. Nothing you can do about it. You know, it's hanging on. And sometimes you get temporary headaches that occur, but no.
back to the smell of poo. So there we are. Poop right. <laughs> if you look at the songbook that Jehovah Witnesses use, sing out loud to Jehovah or something like that, they know that Jehovah's a demon or Satan because if you look at the style of writing, where they write Jehovah, they style it in a way to look like it's a de demonic being. Obviously I'm back. The headache is about the same as what it was when I left. It hasn't got better at all. It hasn't. It's hard to say. I don't want to say it's worsened, but only time will tell. I've only just got back. The headache's worsened.